In this video, I'm planning on showing you how to use calculus to derive the normal equation. And the normal equation is an analytic solution to the least squares for optimization problems. So for our optimization problem, we have the s, which is our objective function, is equal to i is equal to 1 to n, and n is the number of features, and then this is yi minus yi hat, and then this is our observed value, and yi hat is our predicted value. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to, oh, and then this is squared. What we're trying to do is we're trying to find the, we're trying to minimize our objective function and basically minimize the error because the, the lower error or the less error that we have, the closer to zero that the error is, the better our solution or the better our model is. So this can be written as y minus x beta. So again, this is, and this is squared. So again, this is the predicted, and this is observed. What we want to do is we want to minimize this. And the way that we can do that is we can take the gradient of s and set it equal to zero in order to find the function minimum. So I'm gonna rewrite, well, so I'm gonna just write this out. So s is equal to y minus x beta squared. And what we're doing is we're going to one, take the gradient of s and then two we're going to set that to zero to get the function minimum. All right so s is equal to just coming down to here s is equal to y minus x beta transpose y minus x beta. And what we're doing is we're saying that the partial of s to the partial of beta is equal to zero. So the way that we can solve this is using the chain rule. And so to do that, I want to define a few things. So first of all, I'm going to define a function f of beta is equal to y minus x beta. And then I want to say that, so if we look at the, if we look at this equation, we can define g of u is equal to u transpose u and then this is where u is equal to f beta. So this, this basically, so we have that, so u is equal to f of beta. f of beta is y, y minus x beta, so this. And then we have that g of u is equal to u transpose u. So you can see that, that, that this represents our equation. So then I'm going to take the partial of y minus x beta transpose y minus x beta partial beta, and this is equal to and then using the chain rule, we can say that the partial of g u to partial of u, and then partial f beta, partial beta. All right, so then what we want to do is calculate each part of this separately. So I'm going to start with the 
partial GU, partial U term. So the partial of GU partial U is equal to, and then we define GU as U transpose U. So this is U transpose U partial U. And then this is equal to 2U transpose. And then the second term, so partial F beta partial beta is equal to the partial of y minus x beta over the partial of beta. And so then this is just equal to negative x. So then what we can do is combine these two terms back into this. So if we do that, we have the, the partial and I'll just write it out so it's clear. So the partial y minus x beta transpose y minus, oops, y minus x beta divided by the partial of beta. And this is equal to, so we take our first term and our second term, so two, you transpose multiplied by a negative x. And so then what we want to do is plug our value for u back into this equation. So remember u is f of beta, but then f of beta is y minus x beta. So that's what I'm going to plug in for u. So going back down to here, I have the and I'm also going to pull the negative sign out. So I have negative 2, and then u is equal to y minus x beta transpose x. And then, if you remember, we're setting this equal to 0 because we want to set our function. We want to set, we want to set, so after we take the derivative, we want to set our function equal to zero, and then solve, we're solving for beta. So down here, we're solving for beta. And this is equal to zero. So then what we can do is we can take the transpose of both sides. So negative two y minus x beta transpose x transpose is equal to zero, and then this is equal to negative 2x transpose y minus x beta, which is equal to 0. And then negative 2x transpose y plus 2x transpose x beta is equal to 0. And then I'm going to move the terms on opposite sides. So I have 2x transpose x beta is equal to 2x transpose y. The 2's cancel. And then to solve for beta, we just need to take the inverse of x transpose x. So then beta is equal to x transpose x inverse x transpose y. So then this is our normal equation. And so this is our, so this is a direct solution that we can use to solve our optimization problem to get our beta vector. And you can see that since we, we know the values of x and y because we've like, so x is our features, or our independent variables, and y is our observed value, or our dependent variable, so we know those, so we can solve this equation directly to get beta. So I'll be showing you how to solve this equation in Python to get your beta terms for your regression problem. If you found this video helpful, please hit like or subscribe, and thanks for watching.